Look at that right there. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous speckled trout. What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday's trip really took it out of me, so I'm getting a very late start today, but right now we're on our way over towards the island. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Left the kayak at home. We've got those waders right there, primed and ready to go. It's been a minute since I've done some wade fishing, so we're gonna probably spend about two to three hours out there, however long it takes to try and catch a fish. I may even hop around. Let's get over there and see what happens. Surf looks pretty nasty out there. It's a southwest wind coming in, so the reason why I'm here is because the jetty rocks are gonna protect me from all of that nastiness. We'll start waiting over here. Tre <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna start waiting over here. Looks like the bottom has kind of changed. Tide is out as well. Last cast with this one right here. I've already swapped through two lures and nothing. It's just, I think it's way too dirty. <laughs> it's an understatement, right? I mean, look at all that chocolate milk. Very turbulent washing machine on the bay side. Here in the channel side, if the rocks were a little bit higher, then this water would more than likely be clean, but all of that nasty stuff is bleeding over here. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here too much longer. We're gonna swap lures and we'll continue fishing it, but on the bottom by them, by the jetty itself, hopefully we'll trigger a bite. I'm gonna put something on that makes a little bit of noise. So be right back. All right, this right here, we'll be able to bounce on the bottom and we got a little trailer right there. We also have a little rattle, a rattle down underneath. So bouncing the bottom, we're going after some flounder. Let's see if we can make it happen with this setup. And I may swap it out maybe one more time after this, but not too sure. Just depends on if we're able to get a bite. There goes that. It's good to know that my leader, my main line to leader line knots are tied really well. Got him. Oh my gosh. Oh, he got off. You got to be kidding me. Oh, that had to have been a flounder for sure. Whoo, wowzers. Not too bad. One bite. Three, no, not even three, about two hours. Two to three hours, somewhere around there. Only one bite to show for. We're gonna get back in the truck, drive down the road and see if we can find somewhere else to cast this tiny little lure. All right, let's get the pack back on. I'm gonna walk right out here. It looks somewhat better than what we were just subjected to. Yeah, mosquitoes are already tearing me up. Oh, that's horrible. Small little fellas too. All right, here we go. Not too sure what to expect over here. I've never ever fished it, but I don't see why there wouldn't be flounder in this area, especially 
where it's a choke point, something that is fed by the uh, the bay, and then it comes into like this little back lake area. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this spot right here. Didn't really produce much of anything. Let's head over towards the channel side. That is like thousands and thousands of mullet. As these swells are coming in, you can see them like swimming in it. Holy moly, man. That's my last cast right there. All right, hopefully this is gonna be my last spot for the day. We have made our way down towards the lagoon and I'm just, I'm out of spots to fish from the bank that's protected from the wind. If we go to Seawall Boulevard and try to fish those growings, that's just gonna be nasty. I mean, y'all saw the jetty the way it was earlier today. Just not very conducive for fishing. Hopefully we can pull out a speckled trout right here. I've had luck with that in the past. Never caught a redfish or a flounder out of this area. Only speckled trout, sand trout, and croaker. That's, that's all I've caught from here. And not to mention the piggy perch, all those little pinfish, those turds that love stealing your lures and your plastics. That's about it. Got him. Yeah, baby. About time. Holy moly. I thought we weren't going to be able to get anything today. Look at that. Little croaker. Fishing on the bottom. Literally just got him by the nose. Okay. Mr. Croaker, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Y'all have no idea how long I've been fishing. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm not going to catch anything. We're going to get skunked again. We just, well, we're not in the kayak. But I'm over here thinking to myself, I don't want to get skunked again. I don't want to go home, do the walk of shame inside the house whenever my wife and kids ask me, how I was fishing today? And I'm like, uh, I didn't catch nothing. Got to hold my head down. Not even my dog wants to come up and greet me. There we go. Yes, baby. That is a good looking speckled trout. I knew eventually I would catch one of these turds. Get over here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need you to just chill out. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, that feels so good. And he just completely thrashed our lure. Look at that. I'm going to have to put that one away and grab another one. Oh, yes. There we go. That is two in a row. Nice thump, too. Small little dink size fella. Bro. I need you to just chill out. Let me do my thing. You did your thing, let me do my thing. Right there. Beautiful little fella. He's got a lot of growing to do though. So I think the bite might have just turned on. We also, in case y'all haven't noticed, we moved spots. We were a couple hundred yards that way. Decided to come over here and give it a try closer to the bridge and I think that's what did it. It's probably more moving water right here for the outgoing.
There we go. This is the most fish that I've ever caught over here. This one's a keeper too. Actually, never mind. Oh, you turd. Look at that. Hey, buddy. All right. Now that this guy has completely destroyed our lure, we'll set him free. Little turd. We only have one more fluke. And that's kind of a bummer because if that's the only lure that they want to hit, well, that's just going to suck for us. Yeah, he just he completely ripped it up. I should have brought a net with me and that would have been able to save my lures so they wouldn't be able to do them head shakes. All right, leader line is good, hook is good, plastic, no good. That's all right, that's what they're for. Plus, zoom flukes are pretty cheap to replace, too. One keeper. I love the way they hit, though. Man, these guys are just playing for keeps because... Once they bite it, they are just chomping down and crushing it. There's a thump. All right, we're going to hurry up and take care of this dude. They're all cookie cutter, too. Oops. Well, he's missing a little bit of scales, but uh, I've seen them way worse than that. Oh, yeah, come on. He feels like a good fish. That feels, yeah, that is a keeper. There is my keeper. Yes, got the keeper. I'm gonna need you to chill out, dude. I'm gonna need you to chill out. Look at that right there. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous speckled trout. That's a good 16 right there going on 17 inches zoom fluke and I think he just ruined it nevertheless look at that just absolutely gorgeous right there these guys are so beautiful great table fare sorry bud you should have just sit we could have got a graceful release if you would have stopped wiggling And we're done, lady. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> I'm dangling it right there and we already got hit again. Look at that. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll continue using this until it actually like rips. And once that happens, we'll call it quits, go home. What a way to turn the uh, day around. We're right at almost complete low tide, so we have an out going. Everything is coming through, and these guys, I knew if we just waited it out, we would have uh, eventually caught them feeding. Sun's about to go down, so perfect conditions. Just a gorgeous day to be out fishing. Got a late start, but doesn't matter decided to leave the kayak at home because I didn't feel like messing with it. It's a chore to load and unload that thing and just everything that goes along with it, batteries and stuff like that. Sometimes you just try to go back to the basics. I don't do it enough and uh, not too sure if y'all would appreciate more videos that are like this, but if y'all do, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button, drop that comment below. And uh, based off of what y'all think, then uh, I just want to do whatever it is that y'all enjoy. So just let me know if you enjoy. I mean, I just enjoy fishing, period. I will basically learn how to wade fish a little bit better if that's what it comes to. Thanks for watching everyone, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button trying to fight these mosquitoes off of me. 
I had a great time. It just completely turned around once that bite started. And uh, although we had to wait forever for it to start, uh, I'm glad that I stuck it out and was able to create this video of catching and uh, not another skunk. So really appreciate it. Don't forget what I said about the thumbs up and the comments down below letting me know if y'all enjoy this style of video. Because, uh, I mean, normally you're going to see me doing nothing but the kayak and here soon the skiff. So I can't wait for that thing to come in. Hopefully we'll get the call really soon. I got to go. These mosquitoes are just Oh gosh, they are all over me. All right, if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.